Last one, last one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, Our next Come presenter on, starred in Netflix's Bird Box, <laughs> a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. Woo! You did it. You, I didn't. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Flavor. The flavor today is Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes 2020. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes 2020. This is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so <laughs> I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either. Fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And oh, oh, yeah. they have no idea what Twitter is. So I got off this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all going to die soon, and there's no sequel. So, yeah, remember that. Um, but you all look lovely, all doled up. You came here in your limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, Woo! no. <laughs> Shush. Don't pay for it's her, to go it's to her daughter go I school. feel sorry for. Okay? That must be the Don't most cheat. embarrassing cheat, thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, <laughs> lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons. Yeah? Look okay. at this table. Under the table for, uh, for Al Pacino, you Robert Can't De Niro. But, Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, oh, I love you, man. Um, Don't have me whacked. Um, but tonight isn't just <laughs> about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look, talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. <laughs> it was a big year for paedophile movies. Oh, um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, <laughs> Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. Ah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So. <laughs> Fifth time. So, we were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, no, not on my watch. So, maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's oh, watching gosh. Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win everything. Good night. But no, no, we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this, OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way, so in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. But I don't care. I don't care. You like to make your own way here, in your own plane, didn't you? Right, 
But <coughs> seriously, most films are awful. Lazy. <coughs> Remakes. Sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one, then. <laughs> All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. <laughs> have, we got a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. No point. <laughs> we know he'd win that. Um, Martin Scorsese, <laughs> the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, <laughs> is he? <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, that, it was. My, my, it was great. Uh, long, but amazing. Um, <laughs> wow. It wasn't the only epic movie. Well, Once upon a time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So, <laughs> Even Prince Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate, you know. Oh. You're nearly 50, son. Um, <laughs> son. The world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. <laughs> he was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um, <laughs> and the reviews, oh, shocking. I saw one that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs, right? <laughs> But Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play. Because she... I can't do this next joke. I can't do this next joke! Because she ah. loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet, lifting her leg and licking her... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let the block that one out. Furball. Furball. She's old school. Um... She is old school. She is old school. <laughs> it's the last time. Who cares? <laughs> it's the last time. Oh. Who cares? Apple oh, roared gosh. into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama. Yeah. This <laughs> is the last a time. A superb Who drama cares? about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing. Made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So. Well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, <laughs> if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right? Come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... <laughs> wow! So... Lock that out! <laughs> it's already three hours long. Look at Tom Hanks. That's right, Hanks. Right, Suck let's it do up, the first buttercup. award. The first award. Fuck. <laughs> the first award is for best actor in a television series, <laughs> musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and <laughs> Reese Witherspoon. Oh, In a little while, we're going to see a, a short clip from The Irishman. Um, it's 88 minutes long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> welcome back. Still having a good time? Good. As you know, the meal tonight was all vegetables as are the members of the Hollywood Foreign Press. <laughs> Please welcome their president, Lorenzo Soria. Oh, Hello, gosh. we're back. Um, <laughs> Knives Out oh. has three nominations tonight. Yeah. See what can happen if you don't dress people up as cats? It's, it's that easy. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Um, I've got nothing negative 
to say about these next two presenters because the big one could snap me in half. So <laughs> please welcome Zoe Kravitz and Jason Momoa. Amazing. Um, a lot of controversy uh, about our next category. No female directors were nominated this year. Not one. I mean that. That's bad. Um, I have genuine. I've had a word with the Hollywood Foreign Press, and they've guaranteed that will never happen again. Um, no, because working with all the major studios, um, they've agreed to go back the way things were a few years ago, when they didn't even hire women directors, and <laughs> that will solve the problem. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Kill me. We're nearly done. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, it's already. Right. Um, <laughs> last one. Last one. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, Our next Come on, guys. starred one. in Netflix's Bird Box, a movie where people survive by acting like they don't see a thing. Sort of like working for Harvey Weinstein. You did it. You, I didn't. You did it. Woo! Please welcome Sandra Bullock. <laughs> you did it. I did it. Shut that up. You did it. I did it. <laughs> That's it. Good night. Thank you. Please donate to Australia. Have a great time. Get drunk. Take your drugs. Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes 2020. I always saw bits and pieces of this, but my gosh. Woohoo! Go home. Get drunk, take your drugs, who cares? Get out of here. Don't care. It's the last time I'm doing this. I ain't doing this again. <laughs> My man, right there. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, because I damn sure did. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. <laughs> Deuces. Wet, 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 wet,